Venus weightlifting, Chinese weightlifting. Hi, it's Gabby. We have made a video earlier in which I commented on the personal lifting videos of our fans and subscribers. Many of you have told us that you found it very helpful, so we have decided to continue with this series. Before we start, please give us a like and subscribe so the videos can help more people. For today's episode, we want to focus on the snatch. We have collected a few snatch videos submitted by some of you, and we will take this opportunity to point out some of the commonly seen issues. We will break them down by explaining to you why the mistakes occur, followed by coaching cues, as well as training suggestions to help you to make improvements. This is not only to help the lifters in the videos, but also for all other lifters who make similar mistakes. Before we go to the lifting videos, I'd like to introduce to you the fundamental coaching philosophy of Venus weightlifting. It's what we call the BCDR model. It's the abbreviation of the four roots of Chinese weightlifting. B stands for balance, and the balance creates stability and a foundation for power. A balanced and stable structure comes ahead of everything else. C stands for core. Core determines the efficiency of power transfer. D stands for down. And this is the direction in which a lifter should drive power. The focus is always to push down instead of lifting weights up. And lastly, R stands for rhythm. The rhythm power generation and the body movements. This is what differentiates good lifters and the great lifters. You will hear me refer back to these four pillars throughout of our videos. All the mistakes and the problems you can discover in someone's list can be categorized into one or more of these four points. Only when a lifter truly understands these fundamental ideas, he or she can then proactively make personal improvements in training. And this is how we teach weightlifting at Venus Weightlifting. As I mentioned earlier, today we will focus on the snatch videos. In simple terms, snatch is a movement in which the lifter lifts up the barbell through leg drive, bounces it higher through body extension, then squats down to catch the bar at its peak height. The goal is to create short and straight bar trajectory in order to maximize weights lifted. With that in mind, let's get started. Okay, let's see the first one. I see. Okay, there's a good lift, first of all. Second, I think the biggest problem of your lift is actually height at the beginning. When you're about to lift, you see here, your triceps tense a lot and all of the weight of the bar actually hang on the top of your shoulders rather than hang on the structure of your full body. So that's the case. And because the weight hang on your shoulder, so later, the weight cannot sit on the structure of your body again. All of the weight actually sit on your tight shoulders because your shoulder has already separated from the rest of your body. That's it. So your problem is because you tend to your arms and your hands at the beginning. So you tend to use the upper body, especially your shoulder strength, to swing the bar, pull the bar up rather than relying on the lower body's trip extension. So here you see you lift your butt up a little bit, but actually pull the bar is pull the bar up. Remember the direction of the power is actually goes down. So I want you to think about push the floor away, which mostly engaging your lower body. So here I suggest you to practice Olympic weightlifting style deadlift. Focus on the lower body movement, pushing the floor away while maintaining a stable core. Second, at the preparatory position of the lift, I want you to focus on the shoulder blades 
back in the neutral position. Your shoulder blades kind of separating, losing the role of stable structure. Okay, slightly jumped forward. Let's see what's happening here. It's the same problem. Ah, and see his toes here. Is lifting up. See one two, which indicates your body weight not stays on the balls of feet. So remember the balance always remain on the balls of feet, and keep as stable as possible there. Don't lean backward. When you lean backward, that's not triple extension again. That's kind of swing forward. Mm, but you are jumping forward. So basically here, you are doing a broad jump rather than a vertical jump. So the direction of power rather than go straight down, bounce the bar up. You kind of jumped forward. So I think probably you are a little bit in a rush. Here I suggest you to do hand snatch from above knees. Snatches from above knees from hand position is more focused on the triple extension, focused on the explosiveness. If you can practice this phase well, see, nothing happened here, it's okay here. It's mainly about the bar comes up from above knee to the launch point. Okay, this phase kind of not very good. So I want you to focus on number one, balance, maintain on the balls of feet. Don't swim back and forward. Push the floor away again. And don't swing your forearms forward. And rotate your elbows up and then catch it. And my suggestion for you again is to do the probably a snatch pull and a full snatch from hand position. That's it. Catching position relatively okay because you swing the bar so it's kind of a bit wobbly at the cutting position. Mm, core here okay. Your left knee is a little bit collapsed. I still can see from this angle although it's not very clear. And here you see you jumped. I want you to imagine there are two walnuts just under your both feet and you want to crush them. Mm -hmm. I probably put cues like that to give you a picture in your head. That's it. Cool, actually, very okay. Next one. Uh, jumped backward. Okay, I think it's kind of same problem, but just different direction as the second lifter. Uh, the second lifter actually swing the forward, you swing the backward. You, def you are definitely very strong, but rather than drive down, drive down, remember, drive down. But at this stage, see, you are kind of leaning backward, so the bar is going to swing back again. Mm -hmm. Because you lean way backward and the bar relatively stay in front of you. So you have to step forward to catch the bar. Mm, I must warn you, in this position, the weight is actually landed on your, see here, your lower back and your knees. Oh, your knees are even a little bit collapsed. You cannot really squat down at this stage, so you cannot squat low to do heavy squat snatches. So I recommend you to change the model of your snatch. Rather than jumping forward and backward, I want you to still practice pan the pose and the snatch from the launch position first, and then get down to mid-thigh. Actually, we mentioned it before in our Panda pull episode. I think that's extremely helpful for you. If you can watch that episode for three times and practice the movement in that, I bet you're gonna improve a lot. So your problem is your lean backward. 
and the reason you want to learn the force of your upper body, but that's not what happening. That's not not the nature of snatch. Snatch. It's all about the bar moving up and down in a straight line. So I want you to practice. You can take a video for yourself. Look at yourself from the side. Either the bar goes forward and backward in a circle, or comes up and down in a straight way. Try the panda pull. Up down, up catch, up down, up catch. Go to my video and check it out. Okay, next one. Let's do our strong. Okay. <laughs> Let's see it again. What's the same problem? I think all of you can tell me now. Lift the bar at the beginning, some kind of land. I think the you can see if I draw a straight line here. Actually, I must say the line is relatively straight to compare to the rest of the lifters. It's actually very straight. I need to congrats to you on that. But let's come and see at the catching position first. The bar sits right land on where your T spine and the, your lumbar spine links. It's extremely easy to get your lower back injured and your knees. You are not relying on the structure. I barely see your butt engaging you are, and the body weight not landed on your both feet again. And the weight of the bar all landed on your heels rather than both of the feet, rather than the triangle of your feet. That's why you fall back later and then missing the lift. See, your knees is kind of a leverage here. It's not healthy for your knees again. Your knees is not used as a leverage. Your whole body is tense gritty structure. It's not leverage structure. So if you keep on lifting like that, your knees and your back can hurt a lot. If you can increase, if you can increase the depth of your hip, sit lower, and then your back gonna become much more straighter, and then there will be much less pressure on your knees and back. I remember I talked about the control over hip mobility in the school jerk episode. So if you can check on that video, do the frog style in my way, you're gonna improve the control of your whole pelvic section. So first of all, technique wise, you're gonna practice the snatch deadlift because you need to push down, push down, not lift up, not lift the bar up. Three of you made the same mistake. Push the bar away. Kind of okay. Trip extension kind of okay, but still lack the power. Your feet start to lift off the floor. You are not driving down. You are jumping up. So see the direction of power actually plays an important role here. It's never you lift anything up. It will give you no root, no ground, no stability and the catching increase your hip mobility and increase the control over your hip mobility that's my suggestion for you go to check my video okay but still very good very young very good okay next one lifting on the home how exciting first of all so first of all keep your back straight eyes forward head up. Maintain a neutral spine is number one priority. Otherwise, if you have a such arched back, it's simply not good for your low back health. Second one, I can see you are grabbing the bar a little bit tight. You are using your shoulder strings to really lift it up. Your legs are just like following your upper body's movement and then catch. If you have very tight hamstrings or hips, I suggest you can get the block higher or you can do just snatches from above knees, which is okay because that's healthier for your spine. So I believe for you, probably just the empty barbell would be a good start. 
You can practice all the movement, not from the floor, but from the launch point, which is at a hip crease. At the beginning, you practice well, then you lower the bar to above the knee, and then you can try to lower the barbell to the floor to see if you are capable of doing this. Please don't worry that if you cannot do a full snatch from floor at the beginning, your mobility might not be able to allow you to do that. So let's start from light weight, from the top to the bottom, not the other way around. That's my suggestion for you. And always, don't forget to keep your lower back straight. Okay, next one. I don't mind that. Wow, nice! You're a pro. No problem. A little bit of adjustment here. A little bit, just a little bit, tilting your butt at the beginning. Keep the triangle. Push the floor away. Push the floor away. Okay, I see. When you're about to drive, do the trip extension. You are using your quads a lot and your back a lot. I don't see your glutes is engaged as much as your quads. So you must be putting backward. That's a common problem for those who have very strong legs. But you know, trip extension, all the three major extensors, including your butt, glutes, right? And then quads, and then your calf. Which one is the biggest one? Of course, is your butt, your strong, vibrant butt. For the best lifters, you can neglect none of them. And then you are relying on the lower back strength. If you pull yourself back and the bar still remain where it is. So actually, you're gonna sit behind of the bar and your shoulder must be wobbled at the catching position. See here, your shoulder a little bit wobbled. But your butt can sit lower. Your back here becomes straighter and actually you can catch heavier. You are strong, technique very good. But if you can change your footwork from slide back to slide out, sit in a wider position, and then you can get your butt lower. Definitely, you're gonna catch heavier. Also, you can check out my style of frog stretch, the full control over your hip mobile range. If you use that as the warm up, that's gonna be helpful for you to do a better snatch, especially in the catching position. So, the reason you have wobbled catching because the root, your hip, is not strong and the mobile enough. Practice the footwork, slide out rather than slide back. So if you can sit faster, sit deeper, right? With a more solid lower body structure, how can you not to catch it heavier? I think that answers your question, why you cannot catch it over 70s, right? But still, that's an impressive catch, very smooth. And the catching position, show the upper body, no problem. It, it's all come from your lower body, trust me. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's all for the commenting. That wraps up all the snatch videos for today. Hopefully, you've learned something from this video. I'd like to thank you again for all the trust and support. If you like my coaching style or have any other questions or suggestions, please leave us a comment below. And if you want to see your own lifts in our next video, please send them to the email below. We are also putting together online coaching plans and programs. So let us know if you're interested in that as well.
Venus weightlifting, Chinese weightlifting. It's Gabby, and I'll see you next time.